back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And this time around, we've got some single men lined up. Make some noise, guys. <laughs> All right. So the way this game is going to go, I'm going to be bringing out some single ladies one by one. Once she comes around this corner, if she's your type, you're feeling her, you know, whatever it is, and maybe the thing she says intrigues you, then I'll pop your balloon. However, if there's anything that you're not feeling, whether it's her hair, outfit, or also, again, some things that she said, go ahead and pop your balloon, and then I'll go over to a few of you see why you ended up popping. We ready? Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? That's on, bitch. Hi, my name is Jessica Carmen. Jessica, okay, and how old are you? I'm 27 years old. 27, okay, and what do you do? I'm a doctor. I specialize in internal medicine. Very cool. Okay, you now what are some things like you do? Shouldn't give a 27. Um, I like well, to do gymnastics. I'm stupid. Um, I'm a gymnast, and I also do cheerleading, too. I started back I'm that. I'm So, um, yeah, those are, like, the things I do. And I started a TikTok account, like, oh, a week ago. And okay. And also, <laughs> I post on YouTube. Hey, very it. nice. <laughs> so, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, really, I'm looking for someone that knows what they want. Someone that came here with the intention of finding love and... Um, also someone that's like ready to settle down and has an end goal of getting married. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, I guess I would say someone that's unsure of what they want. If you're not ready to get married, like in the next few years, you're not really someone that I'm looking for. Okay. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's wild. All the yeah, niggas pulled up in different type of fits. Like, unless you know who they're serious and who not. Here. We can have your name and age. My name is Johnny and my age is 34. And Johnny, what do you do? I'm a personal trainer. Okay, very cool. And so what do you do? I pop my balloon because she's a doctor for one. Oh. It's not a bad thing, it's just that I smoke a lot and I know it's probably gonna be a problem for her. Okay. And yeah, to be honest, that's, that's the only reason for real. Like you look good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. So is the smoking a problem for you with you being a doctor? Yes, I don't really like cigarette smokers. Shit, he was spot on there. Really smoke cigarettes is yeah. other things, but you know. Any <laughs> <laughs> other things? <laughs> type shit. Type shit. Peace. So is Johnny someone that is your type? <laughs> personal trainer you look very fit and so yeah i, I like that <laughs> thank you johnny let's go on over to our next guy here your name and age i'm justin i'm 34 and justin what do you do well i'm a ceo of a um, logistics company nationwide semi truck cleaning and fleet company and uh why did you end up popping your balloon well i mean she's a very beautiful lady um it just seemed like she was a little downspoken she wasn't very confident when she walked out um, I like outspoken people, you know, straight to the point, like, hey, what's up? You know, I'm here. This is what we got going. So it's nothing against you. It's just you seem like a very nice person. But, you know, you're not loud enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I mean, Nigga want to be like really scream in his face. Oh, I can tell. You know, so <laughs> that's why I don't want to, like, use that against you. But yeah. that's what it is for right now, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's fine. And now, um, is that's Justin, fine. That's the yeah, name? Justin. Justin. Is Justin someone that's your type? Um, uh, not really, just not really the type that I typically go for, but, um, yeah, you're very handsome, mm -hmm. and yeah. When you say type then, and then you call me handsome, you mean, like, in what way? What, what, what kind of type? Um, I guess maybe someone a little more taller, but, mm -hmm. you know, I it's just my lot. preference, I yeah. guess. Okay, I got you, you know what I'm saying? Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet yeah, you Yeah, so that's well. it. All right, thank you. Let's head on back. So we do still have quite a uh, quite a few balloons left unpopped. Yeah. So I am going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question just to help us narrow it down for you. Okay. Um, does anyone have kids? Well, because we got... Or do you want us to go ask them, like, how many all that stuff? Or? Um, yeah, how many kids do you have? 
Who's, you, oh, let's start over here. <laughs> okay, if we can start with your name and age. Hi, my name is Bassi. Um, I'm 36. I'm going to be 37 in four days. So, yeah, I do have two kids. Damn. An 11 year old son and a 12 year old daughter. Yeah. Niggas I'm old. Bassi, what do you do? I work in construction field. I do own my own construction business as well. So, yeah. For sure, wouldn't thought bro was 37. Okay, your name and age and what you do? Uh, my name is Kenneth. Um, I um, I work for a behavioral health company for my mother and my stepfather. Um, and um, I do have one kid, and uh, he's 10 years old. And then I think we did have one more. Your name and age? Oh, my name is George. I'm 35. And George, what do you do? I'm a health care worker. How many kids do you have? I have two. Some grown ass niggas on this show. All right. Um, honestly, I'm gonna have to ask all of you guys that said yes to pop your balloon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's start here since we're here. So why did you have your balloon unpopped? Well, she looked beautiful. I was just curious to see what she had more to say about. Okay. Yeah. But... Now, apart from him having the kids, is he someone that is your type? Yeah. He's great. Definitely. You said you're a healthcare worker. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Yeah. So I think that's really nice because. We have that in common. We do. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, right, right. Kids, kids, kids. Kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, oh, she popped. She told me if, if, if it's right, if it's if you have kids, pop it. Yeah, so then why did you have it unpopped okay. before she told you to pop so, it? Um, initially, so when she came out, you know, I, I found a physical attraction to her initially. I love long hair. She cute. Uh, skin complexion. i uh, seen the shine. So teeth bright. Mm -hmm. That's what I like, so. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And now, is he someone that's your type? Oh, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, you're very attractive. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I would say you're my type for sure. And yeah, I wish I got a chance to know more about you. Same so. Okay. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you just told me to leave. Here. So, why did you have your balloon unpopped? So, when she first came out, I noticed that the, um, she was a little timid. She was shy a little bit. Um, but I noticed she has like a good personality about her. So, um, she's very pretty. Um, I like what she's wearing. Uh, nice teeth as well. So yeah, that was the reason why. Yeah. She looked good. And now is he someone that's your type? Yeah, I would definitely say so. You also look very fit. Thank you. Yeah, very attractive. Appreciate it though. Yeah, you look very stunning as well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we do have four balloons left unpopped. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys another question. Okay, so I would like to know about why your last relationship <laughs> ended and also if you've ever been married or engaged before. Um, why it did not work out. Okay. All right, let's start right on over here. If we can have your name and age. Yeah, so uh, my name is Josh. I'm 39 years old. I'm a, Ed, Josh, what do you do? I'm a mental health therapist. Okay, and then just to go ahead. <laughs> what the? Question. Yeah, uh, so basically. Who popped they were alone for another nigga other, talking? Right? So I feel like love is basically something that you it's love is freedom so i allow her to explore yeah, buddy in the so suit zoned in so it's basically that okay let's go to our next guy your name and age hello and i'm 34 and Philip, what do you do i'm the assistant track coach for arizona state if you could just answer your question so the reason why my last relationship ended is because the more i got on my purpose the more our interests just changed over time we're still cordial to this day but we just decided to go our separate ways. Haven't been married, haven't been engaged. Okay, and have you ever cheated in a relationship before? No. Okay, all right. Hang on. All right, your name. If a nigga has cheated in a relationship, not me, of course, but if a nigga has cheated in a relationship, would he really say that on YouTube? An age? My name is Paul. I'm 39. And Paul, what do you do? Uh, ICU and vascular access nurse and property investor. Nice. And if you can just go ahead and answer a question. Um, so my last relationship, uh, I don't drink very much. And that was more of something that she partook in. Um, have some drinks at the restaurant and drink alone at home. And that's just a little bit too much for me because I rarely drink because I like to be in control of my body and stuff. Uh, never been married or divorce and uh, never cheated. Very nice, okay. And so we did get a pop down here when you asked that question. So let's head on over there and see why he ended up popping. If we can start off with your name and age. My name's Jay, 31. Okay. And Jay, what do you do? I work for Parks and Recreation. 
recreation coordinator. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? I'll be honest. You're nice. You're nice looking. Um, nice looking. You know, I'm a private person. So, when it comes to relationship, I think that's something I would want to talk to you in a private part of our relationship. So. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so is he someone that I'm is lost. your type? Because he said TikTok, yeah. or did I, I miss something? Say so. Tall, dark, and handsome. So mm. I would say, yeah, you're my type. Okay. And then, so is she someone that is your type? I know that question is what made you pop, but is she someone that's your type? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Thank you. All right. Let's head on back. Mm -hmm. So out of these three guys left. I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one of their balloons, just kind of based off of what you've heard so far and, you know, what you see, all that good stuff. So let me hand you a pick. There you go. Yeah. And just go ahead and pop one of theirs. Oh, it's just these three. Just these three. Oh. <laughs> she was going to pop his shit from the jump. <laughs> When it comes to like immediate the three niggas with the balloons in the hand. Really there, but um, you're very handsome, and I'm sure someone else will love you. So. Fair enough. Um, she's my type. I think okay. she's uh, she's great. I, I was waiting to see more information because you know doctors are pretty busy with their work life balance, but it's fine. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's head on back, guys. Any questions for our girl? Okay, right over here. So, um, what is the what are some of your characteristics of a healthy relationship? So, I think loyalty is very important, and also communication, like making sure you're communicating. Like, for example, if you can't text me because you're busy all day, like just telling me in the morning, like, oh, I'm I'm not gonna be able to text, but I'll talk to you later, um, rather than just like, you know, ghosting me and like ignoring my messages. So I feel like communication, loyalty, those are all very important. Um, obviously not cheating, things like that. Um, and then also making time for each other. So like, I'm not someone like, I don't expect someone to take me on a date like every single week, like all the time, like I understand. And then like, you know, there's free things that we can do. Like one of my dream dates is like a picnic and when, like in like the park or something. And like, I feel like, you know, that's something you could like buy $20 worth of groceries at Walmart and have it. I don't need to be taken somewhere like some fancy restaurant. So, yeah. My type of girl. Thank you. Okay. I got a question. Okay. So, with your profession, do you feel like you're going to be able to have a balance between work and your personal life? 100%. So, that's actually something like since I became a doctor, I just don't have time for people that say things like, oh, I don't have time for you. Because I feel like I'm someone that makes time for things that are important to me. Like I said, I do YouTube, I do gymnastics. I also teach gymnastics lessons in my free time. And so I have, you know, like very little free time, but I feel that I can make time for someone that I really care about and things that I really want to do. Sure, feel so that. I don't think it's an issue. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's time to pop. <laughs> oh my god this is hard i bet i bet yes oh my goodness so you're 39 damn are you i'm 34 34 you old ass niggas okay honestly like these niggas so is old like, um yeah i can't say anything bad you came dressed very nicely um i just feel like if you may be a little too old because you're about to turn 40 soon Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yeah. Damn. And I feel like you're probably more ready to like be a little quick on things than I am. Like I would like to get married, but um, as far as like having kids is not something that I want to do like at this moment. And you know, I, I just feel like you might be more ready to do something like that. So <laughs> I'm gonna. Have to... Okay. All right. So obviously you had your balloon and pop for her for quite some time. Why so? Um, very attractive, um, beautiful smile, and then also I like that you have to be disciplined in order for a career like that, and then it's still within that discipline you were able to, uh, you know, maintain your femininity. Yeah. So, thank you so much. <laughs> All right. I need to get in the gym. Her abs better than mine. Philip, I'll have you stand right over here. All right. So my final question: Is it going to be a yes for you for her? <laughs> yes. Okay. And is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a man. <laughs> I'll take this mic and you guys can go right on up. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Our next single lady. Hello. 